Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with another pick a card and your weekly love message reading from your person of interest. This could be somebody thinking about or somebody that could be coming into your situation or a relationship that you're already in. It could be twin flames or soulmates or crushes or anything, even a famous person. Speaking of famous people, we have this fun little um, pendulum dial that I made for you to see. Uh, maybe there's a person that there's a look-alike. Maybe they look like one of these famous people. Now I just have men because the majority of you are females liking men. But, you know, put yourself where you see yourself. Maybe you're a man looking on and you're like, hmm, which one of these guys do I look most like? You might find yourself in the piles though. So this is for the for anybody who's interested in the male appearance, but masculine, feminine, man, woman is not always the same thing. So just be loose about it and let's have fun. All right, so we have three piles here. This will be pile one, pile two, pile three. Pile one is the, uh, what is this one? This is the celestite, celestite. It's so celestial. Pile two is the smoky quartz. Pile three is the clear quartz cluster. All right, so let's take a deep breath in. Close your eyes, release your breath. Open your eyes. Now with your intuition, that gut feeling, let your eyes settle upon the pile that's meant for you. Don't follow with your eyes, follow with your heart. Let's begin. All right, first let's spin the pendulum and see who it is, your crush, your soulmate, your future husband. <laughs> who do they look most like? This is just for fun, you guys, because the magnetic pendulum is not as accurate as the real pendulum, but still, I'm, it, it can be an enjoyable experience. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's see what which one it went to. It was right in between. So you have a choice between Sam, Sam Hugan or Tyson Beckford, okay? Sam Hugan or Tyson Beckford. One of those is your dude. <laughs> I'll take Sam Hugan. Thank you very much. So now we can just imagine some of us can imagine Sam telling us these things, and some of us can imagine Tyson telling us these things. And by the way, this is the celestite, right? Celestite, am I getting this right? Um, mm, let me double check on this. That's right, I don't know why I'm downing myself. Celestite, I got that in Austin. All right, so let's see what your messages are. Chock full of messages, okay. First of all, from the Lover's Oracle, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as an ocean. And let's see what type, this is the Kipper. So let's see what, who we're dealing with here. This is you or the main female. So it's either you or your person is the main female in your life. All right. Then we have the official person. So basically these two are the official person, but official usually means like high ranking, like twin flame, soulmate, high level, counterpart, um, not just a crush, but somebody way up there in your, in your sphere, in your evolutionary heart. <laughs> it, it's high ranking, okay. So the high ranking person is here. Let's see what they have to say. These are the Enchanted Embrace, so the love lyrics and love song titles. Ooh, I want to taste you, savor you. You are my destiny. I feel you in my bones. This, this person's very sexy. You make me feel tingly. Ooh, you make me feel alive. Very nice. All right, from Love Notes, part one. 
There is a song that reminds me of you. I listen to it and think about you. Nice. Don't leave me. I'm not leaving. You are my weakness. I need your body. I miss your touch. Your confidence is beautiful. Let the old me go and see the new me. All right, that was part two. The pink ones are part two. Ooh, now let's get into some unspoken messages. What would they like to say to you, but they keep holding back? Pretty much all of these are <laughs> unspoken. Well, let's see. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe they have said these things to you. I love your magnetic, seductive qualities. I fantasize about you constantly. The universe keeps reminding me that we belong together. I catch myself responding to your telepathic messages. All right, now let's look at some intimate, loving details here. These are by Queen Sugar as well. You are, you're my lover, heart, and best friend. I love you. Well, somebody you might already know here. I feel so connected to you. I feel so alive, again, with being alive. I want you and nothing's going to change my mind. I wish you were lying next to me, my love. Okay, now we're gonna have some more sprinkles of messages. Let's see what kind of growth is happening here. How are they growing? How are you guys growing together? What is the growth? The growth message. <laughs> All right, I I long to sweep you. Oh, this is a, a romantic message got mixed up in the growth category. That's so beautiful and perfect. I long to sweep you off your feet and shower you with my love. Ah. So that was meant to be. All right, let's keep going now. Let's get a romantic fairy message. What's going on here in this situation? I'm not doing any tarot today, pure messages. All right, let's see. I guess a lot of message cards now. Ooh, this is a spirit soul path, a personal evolution within your relationship. So you grow through this relationship. Ooh, you might be taking a holiday or meeting uh, on a vacation somehow. Enjoy a change of scenery to spice up your love life. Oh man. And unexpected connection. Op opposites attract. Oh my God, you guys, and you got the marriage card too. Wedding bells are ringing. This could be turned into a long-term situation. Very nice. All right, let's see how are they feeling about you. How do they feel? How do they feel? <gasps> Whoa, okay. Feel like petals on the wind. Oh, they, they, all right. Whoa, thunder. <laughs> They're having responsibilities, duties, and a pleasure. And so there's this child here too. So maybe they have these, maybe they're, dealing with their responsibilities. They're so oh, attracted to you, oh my God. You are so beautiful me, to me. And they're so enthusiastic. You know what's so funny? I got goosebumps when the, when the lightning went off. Oh, hi Uriel. Uriel told me she was gonna be coming or he was gonna be coming in my, um, to visit me, you know. Anyway, feeling very excited to be with you. I want to spend quality time with you. This, the long-term goals is that they really want to be with you, spend time with you. They, you're just irresistible to them, but they're really in deep in their responsibilities and duties right now. Let's see now, what about, 
Let's get a little cherry on top. What are some of their characteristics? Down here we have air, fire, and earth, and water. It's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So definitely mostly earth here and a little water. Let's see what else. What else? Oh, kind. And generous. Sensitive. Creative and energetic. All right. Let's let's get some charms now. Charmies. Let's see what the charms have to say. Oh, a very sweet situation here. Cupcakes. So sweet. Uh, you've got reach and world and why and idea and ever. You have the very deep and beautiful mermaid. You have cornucopia, abundance. You have the star angel really guiding you through the darkness. And the um, dragonfly, which represents ancestors, guiding you as well. And the piano, so music. And then you got the bells. That could be the wedding bells. Also, ring those, that bell for notification so you can know when a new um, video is coming up. <laughs> so everybody subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And thank you so much for joining me, subscribers. And anybody that's returning, appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next. I think we got everything that we wanted to out of this reading. A lot of good messages. Very sweet. Very sweet. So just understand if there's any time that you're dealing with, it's because of personal duty somebody's dealing with. Okay, guys? All right. I'm going to move on to the next. All right, here's pile number two. And just for funsies, let's see who your person of interest looks most like. This could be your future husband, soulmate, someone you're thinking about. Could be the actual star you're thinking about. Let's see where it goes. Just for fun. Remember, this is just a toy. This is a magnetic pendulum, so it's not as accurate as, as the official pendulums out there. <laughs> Everybody's thinking of Sam. I'm going to give you guys another turn. Okay, let's see. I mean, I'd be thinking of Sam myself. <laughs> He's so cute. Are y'all watching a lot of Outlander? Is that why? Okay. Okay, and also with the with the Tyson Beck Beckham Beckman Beckham Beck Ford. <laughs> okay, give him one more go. Who else are you guys thinking about? You girls? Maybe you're not guys. Maybe you, it's girls. Who? Which one of these beautiful men are you girls thinking of? Oh yes, yes, definitely Joe. Manganello, yes. Let's see, Joe Manganello, Italian hunk, <laughs> uh, belonged to Sofia Sofia Vergara, but you know we won't be mad at him for that. Okay, so you can imagine Joe Mangan Manganello talking to you when you get these, or not. You can just think about your person. So, what are their messages? We got a lot of them. So from the uh, lover's oracle, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Now let's see who we're dealing with, with the kipper. A mature woman. So some of you might be attracted to a woman or this could represent you. This could be the significator card. And mature doesn't necessarily have to mean old. It means that you're mature. <laughs> let's see who else. We got the mature man. So there's a maturity about you and your person. All right, now let's see. 
What are some of the romantic messages using the enchanted embrace? These are love song titles and lyrics and mix of things. I would be honored to meet you. That's not really a love song. <laughs> I just want you to know who I am. That's an iris. You are mine. Okay, that's not very mature. <laughs> All right, let's see. How did I get so lucky? I live with you in my dreams. All right, now let's see what the love notes say. Love notes part one from Queen Sugar. You've been in my dreams, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, there you go. And I wanna kiss you. These are long cards, so I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm just a little bit OCD. Sorry, don't mind me, Virgo Moon. Okay, <laughs> let's see what else. We will be together again. Nice. And now some part twos. I only want to be with you. And my heart is yearning for you. Yes. All right. And what else? You are radiant. That's very nice. Okay. So now let's see what are some unspoken messages. Which, you know, all of these could be unspoken, maybe, or maybe not. Eventually, they might say it all. Spirit is working on me to be at my best for you. I find it easier to love you in the three D in the five D than to love you and hide in the three D. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> and the thought of you with someone else triggers me. And I think of you before bed just so I can dream about you. Yeah, that helps. All right, let's get some intimate messages by Queen Sugar, Lover's Lane. The love and passion that I have for you will never change. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I want you to see the stars when we make love. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You are so beautiful to me. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And your body is beautiful, but your heart is sexy. A lot of earth energy again here. The earth signs get such sexy messages. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see where, where you have to grow. How is your going to, relationships going to grow? I'm not going to give in to fear. I know fear is only an illusion. Good job. That's a good idea, right? Don't give in to fear. Very nice. Now let's let's get some romantic fairy messages here. What do the fairies have to say about this connection? Whoa, okay. Wow, burning desire. Flames of passion ignite. Ooh, forgiveness. Oh, this is my favorite one. Allow healing waters to wash away the pain of the past. Let's do one more. All right, a healing connection. Your romance will transform your life. Very nice. So now let's see, what are they feeling? What are they feeling right now? What's your person feeling about you, about themselves, or about the connection? How are they feeling? Oh, ooh, they're feeling secure. I got you, baby. You're safe and sound, and I trust you completely. But they're also a little bit confused, feeling a little uncertain about what to do next. Give me a sign. Like, do you trust them, or are we going to go and, you know, we're going to heal, or are we going to move forward? Let's see what else. This is what takes so much time in the 
You, and so I decided some of the reading I wouldn't do the flipping cards and some some of the reading I would, you know? Oh, they're a little bit stressed out. They still wanna know where to go from here. Can we work this out? Feeling like I have questions but no answers. But they wanna grow old with you together. Grow, growing old together can I have this dance for the rest of my life. They really wanna be with you and they want that long-term relationship with you. All right, so let's get a little cherry on top. We can get, so we've got De Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here, and Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So a lot of Earth energy. Let's see what other um, elements we can get and characteristics of your person, maybe. Or the energies that are going to come out soon. The cherry on top, let me just put it this way, is only nice things because it's sweet. We're just going to make it sweet. Loving water. That's nicey. Like Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Loving water. What else? Ooh, water forgiving. See? Forgiving. Fire fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and air intelligent. Ooh, I like that combination. I'm, I'm, you know, definitely like an intelligent person. To me, that turns me on sometimes more than anything. All right, let's see what your charms have to say. I like it when the thunder comes. It's so, I don't know, it's almost reassuring. It feels like an embrace. All right, but I know a lot of Poor people in Louisiana dealing, and all the people that are dealing with that tropical storm, not liking the weather that much. Look at here, though. We got double fairy, double pixie dust. So you guys have really been working hard on your manifestation. Universe has been noticing, and they're going to send the magic to you anytime now. You got that sun coming out, too. So here comes the sun. It's a glorious new beginning. It's enlightenment. It's clarity it's joy it could be marriage even for some people the deep and beautiful mermaid is here have faith and look at that you have the prayer hands which also is also manifesting hands you're manifesting something you've got the crown so definitely the emperor empress quality here the divine feminine and masculine energies and somebody could be stepping out shoes and shoes <laughs> soon in some fancy shoes oh a kiss could be coming and we have the um piano some music involved and the book could be somebody writing. Like, I see creative people here, um, musicians and authors as well. But the book could represent the book of love, the book of whatever, like uh, the book of secrets. <laughs> this could be um, expanding your education and finding out some things that were hidden. Also, with the book being open, it could represent somebody is an open book. All right. Well, I hope you guys like that. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment below. Share it with your friends. Just, you know, this is fun stuff. It's it's a good diversion and um, it can actually seriously resonate in a very deep way if you let it. Use it to manifest, you know, your best and happiest outcome. All right, so thank you so much for stopping by. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe and push that bell for notifications and check out the channel and all the links and places where you can find me and all the goodies that I have to sell. And yeah, um, I'm going to move on to the next. And you can move on to the next pile with me if you want to. <laughs> Okay, and here we have pile number three with the clear crystal quartz cluster. Say that fast three times. Clear crystal quartz cluster. Clear crystal quartz cluster. Okay, never mind. <laughs> let's now, let's see. Who is your soulmate, your future spouse, the person of interest, or is anyone? Do they resemble any of these fine looking people? Now, I know there's going to be some guys watching this and you'll be like, I don't like guys. Just put yourself where you see yourself. Okay, here's this amazing Indian Bollywood actor, Tiger Shroff. Let's take a look at him. Mm, he's cute. Very cute. Very, very cute. You guys gotta check out some of his pictures. Oh my gosh, the, the Indian 
actors are gorgeous. Okay. Let's see now. What's Tiger Shroff telling you? <laughs> All right. You've got my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. All right, let's see who we're we dealing with here. Ooh, a privileged lady. So you could be, your person could be a privileged lady, or you could be the privileged lady. Your person could be a wealthy man, or you could be the wealthy man. <laughs> but it looks like a pr privileged lady and a wealthy man that we're dealing with in this pile. Alrighty. So let's see the romantic messages here. These are Enchanted Embrace, Love Song Titles, and Lyrics. There are so many words in the silence between us. This kind of comes from, it's not really the lyrics in the so Sound of Silence, but check out that song because there's more to that song than meets the eye. All right, what else we have? Can you feel my love? You are so beautiful to me. I'm just trying to be very efficient with my space here, you guys. <laughs> Let's see what else. I want to feel your touch. Nice. Let's see what else. You are sweet perfume, perfume like a desert rose. There's this gorgeous song by Sting. Ale, ale, look it up, desert rose. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, beautiful song. You probably will like it. All right, and let's see now. Love notes. These are messages. And love notes won by Queen Sugar. Let's see what they have to say. You're my one and only. I just need you. Let's do this. Like, Sorry. OCD. <laughs> All right, what else? The sound of your voice lingers in my ear, mind, in my mind. You are my angel, you're my angel. And now we're doing part two. You are the song of my soul. There is a song here. The sound of your voice, this song, this melody, the, the sweet perfume, ale ale. It's so romantic. Oh, it lingers. I am my best self when you are around. So maybe they're just not feeling good when you're not there, you know, like, oh, things just don't feel right. And what else? You are my joy. You are my light. You are my peace of mind. Wow, very nice. All right, let's see what some of the unspoken messages are. Now, all of these could be unspoken messages, but, and the unspoken messages could be things they end up telling you, you just never know. <laughs> You've got, I feel our energies merging together mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Wow, that's very sweet and deep. My fear of losing you eats at me. What else? Manifesting through tantric pleasures. Nice. You're constantly activating my sacral chakra. I feel like a nice spiritual man here who knows all about his chakra points and tantric energies and connectiveness. I like it. All right, so this, and male or female, let's just say that. Put yourself where you see yourself. <laughs> The Lover's Lane intimate messages here. Let's see. I promise that you will want plenty more and there will be more to give. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I think the earth signs have my favorite messages. I'm going to make you scream my name. The neighbors will know it for sure. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <laughs> I think about loving your body from top to bottom 24-7, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. I'm going to have to make some intimate message 
it's just what <laughs> how does queen tricker come up with these things the fire we make can light up the world aries leo and sagittarius but i see what she's doing like matching up with them elements can help what would the elements say to you oh wow so beautiful okay all right so uh, let's top it off with some let's see what growth you're going to get from this relationship or situation where is it growing Where's it going and where's it growing? Where's it growing? Okay, it says, I'm realizing this connection is something special and worth treasuring. Very nice. Okay. Let's now see what the romantic fairy has to say. We've got, ooh, dreams come true. Have faith, your rainbow will come smiling through. But be cautious, you guys. This might be a third party situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person, though. It could be other energies that are preventing you from moving on or moving or, or just like focusing on one person. And so very likely here, there, this could be a twin flame that could be already involved or you could be involved. It's time to clear up that energy though if you want to move into a new direction. Ooh, see, give this person the benefit of the doubt. Give your relationship a chance. All right, that's the three. Let's see how are, how is this person feeling? How are they feeling? They are feeling mm, confused, feeling a little uncertain about what to do next. Give me a sign. Okay, but they also feel emboldened, like they're working up the courage. They want to talk to you. They want to express something, but they maybe they have trouble, you know, articulating themselves. But they do... Maybe their love language is gift giving. They have a part, um, a gift for you, and maybe you're gonna go to a party. They want to share a special day together. Let's do one more. <laughs> oh yes, very attracted to you though. You are so beautiful to me. Okay, so let's add a little cherry on top. Let's see. What's our cherry on top? We've got fair, free, air. So we, the most of the signs we have are, we have some earth, we have earth, fire, and air energy. Yeah, but mostly fire. And then here we have air, air which lights up the fire, ignites the fire, free, flexible, fair, all the Fs. <laughs> I think you need one more, but free and flexible and fair sounds good to me. Uh, all right, good. We got a humanitarian, more air though, sensitive, creative, and energetic. All right. Let's see what your charms have to say. Wow, look, you're, you've got Belle here waiting under the chandelier for a dance. Mm -hmm. You have beautiful kiss, true, believe, idea, and sweet. You have the cheese, which means that you have plenty to share. So you're going to give a fraction. This kind of makes me think of tithing, you know, like helping people out when you're doing really well. You're lending a hand, so that's really beautiful. <laughs> you could be taking a little siesta, a little rest, a vacation or something. Oh, look, we've got um, India with the Taj Mahal. So this is definitely connected to to India up there. We have the United States as well, so maybe an India-United States connection. You have the the uh, the Holy Grail here. This is like a love abundance galore, and you have a, a picnic. So that could be an outside date of some sort, like a little 
um, enjoyable afternoon with somebody. Oh, and a situation that's just plain full of love. Oh, that is so sweet. Well, you guys, if you like that, give that a thumbs up. Feel free to comment below. Uh, share it with your friends. Um, stick around for more videos like this. I, I love making this weekly. So it's a weekly message from from person, whoever that person may be, you know, and it can change from from week to week even, you know, and um, but there's all sorts of videos coming out and be, um, you know, if you like, please comment below on what you might be interested in seeing, you know, like what other um, topics you'd like me to do. I, I like been focusing on Twin Flame, but I can definitely do some different ones. Um, yeah, I've got I got angel messages in mind and starseed messages in mind, but anything else, you just let me know. Before I go though, I want to give you guys a big hug. Thank you um, subscribers for coming back. And if you would like to become um, a subscriber, feel free to, to subscribe and push that bell for notifications and just hang out with us and have a great time. I really enjoyed going live last night. You know, even with interruptions, you guys make it so smooth and flawless and easy and relaxing. You know, it's almost as if it never happened because, you know, the rest of the time with you guys is beautiful and special. Thank you so much for always being there for me and being so kind and supporting each other as well and let's keep supporting each other through these difficult times that we are living through <laughs> oh, all right and before i go i just want to give a special shout out to my members members um pick a tier and then with tiers they get badges and emojis so comment down below your a badge or emoji or both and show off your your special um free freebies that you get when you become a member you also get some readings every month so my platinum pixies are lupe c and claudia lane and claire m we've got golden fairies leo sunchild twin flames louisa silva full of faithers wolfie wesley sunny king anastasia and wild owl rose Sparkles of Light, Kim Califf, A.A., Sachi, Patricia, Valeska, Jaden, Chrissy, Jessica D., Jessica Johnson, Mona, Mystic Mountain Dance, and Brian, and our patrons, Sylvie, Trini, and Melanie. Um, for those patrons, you know, I, I kind of look at that as more of donating to help my artistic cause because I'm creating all these decks that I'd like to share with you. And right now I'm in the midst of creating a Lennerman deck and it's it's about 80 to 90% my artwork, my original artwork. So it's a big undertaking and I'm getting I'm getting there slowly and surely. You might have seen some um some of me sketching my my heart uh card, not heart, <laughs> my my uh ring, the ring. So check that out if you haven't seen that. And I could be going live on TikTok doing some more sketching today, possibly, if you're interested in seeing how I do it. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for all your support. I love you and I'll see you around. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.